This striking down of a landmark Supreme Court case calls into question the future of other cases, including one with roots right here in Kentucky. The WHAS 11 night team's Tom Lally is live at the federal courthouse right here downtown to explain. Tom? The specific amendment cited in Roe v. Wade is the 14th. It ensures due process and equal treatment under the law. The same amendment is used for a number of landmark cases, including marriage equality. That was comprised of lawsuits from all across the country, one of which started right here in Louisville at the federal courthouse. We've watched this over the years, you know, watched the, the acceptance build and build and build and everything was going in the right direction until this bomb got dropped. Greg Bork and Michael DeLeon say the stars and moon aligned over the only gay bar in Lexington, Kentucky 40 years ago. I think it was a good song came on and he was <laughs> he was standing by himself and I said, OK. In six months, they lived together. In 20 years, they tied the knot in Ontario, Canada. The only place in North America in early 2004 where same-sex couples could get legally married. They packed their two kids in a minivan and exchanged vows over Niagara Falls. Nearly a decade later, their marriage still not recognized by Kentucky or the United States, the two realized if something were to happen to Michael, their family could be separated. It was about our children because prior to our marriage being recognized, Michael was the only uh, recognized adoptive parent of our two children. To protect their family, Greg and Michael sued then Governor Steve Bashir, challenging Kentucky's ban on same sex marriage. Within two years, their case made it to the Supreme Court, joined by other couples from across the country. In a five to four ruling, the court decided that the fundamental right to marriage is guaranteed for same sex couples, and one justice made the difference. Now, a new opinion from Justice Clarence Thomas brings a fear that history could be reversed. Oh, yeah. We're hoping it doesn't go there. In the move that overturned Roe v. Wade, Thomas wrote a concurring opinion saying, in future cases, we should reconsider all of this court's substantive due process precedents, including the hard fought victory of this Kentucky couple. It's just so frustrating that we have to keep arguing and convincing people that we have a right to be married and to have our marriage recognized. It just, it seems so basic at this point, and yet here we are going through it all again. This week, they celebrated the seventh year since their Supreme Court victory. Now, they fear it could be the last. For now, the couple takes solace knowing that Justice Thomas's opinion reflects his own view and not necessarily the majority of the court. However, they are advising same-sex couples with young adopted children to make sure their parenting is well documented. Live in Louisville, Tom Lally, WHAS 11, on your side.